Okay, so this is the new iViz system. It's an ultra portable ultrasound system that we have acquired one for each CCOT service at each site. The idea is that we no longer need to move machines out of the unit to accommodate CCOT scanning on the wards. I think it's very important to, to emphasize these machines are only for CCOT use and not for other services to use given the uh, small size of these machines their ease of loss or uh, risk of damage. So um, they are to be kept in the CCOT office at uh, both sites and generally the CCOT nurse can provide access uh, to the fellows or to the physicians who wish to scan with them. So uh, as you can see, it's a tablet uh, set up here. We have a phased array probe. So this is useful for heart, lung, abdomen imaging, not useful for lines. The uh, machine is set up so that your non-scanning hand will uh, go in uh, the machine thusly. Um, on the back here, there is a uh, battery right here, let's see right here, and there are spare batteries in case you're scanning for a prolonged period of time. There's spare batteries that are kept with the machine in the CCOT office. So um, to begin scanning, uh, if you have, a, if it's not a crash scan, you'll enter the patient demographics according to the usual workflow as any machine where you enter the, only the patient PIN number um, and you uh, may have to press the um, uh, patient full form uh, to open up the field where the reading and referring doctor fields are where you place uh, my name typically and the scanner's name. Let's assume that's been done however and let's just go right to scanning to uh, see what that looks like. And we will see here that we have a uh, ultrasound image uh, or an ultrasound uh, sector, at least on this side, and you'll see here that all the controls are going to be manipulated by my thumb while I would be scanning with the probe. So uh, the essential controls, including uh, depth, uh, can be controlled here either by touching on one of the little circles or by manually sort of increasing, pressing the plus or minus signs, and you can see the depth markers on the screen changing. Um, to get out of that, we hit depth again. Uh, overall gain, similarly, again, this is very straightforward. Uh, we can manipulate, and then near gain and far gain are toggled just by tapping this use. So now we're controlling the far gain and then back to 2D imaging. The color uh, feature on this is kind of neat, the way they've done this. So the color uh, box, you can mani manually manipulate it with your scanning hand, but easier still uh, is to actually change the, you hit the color box button here and you can actually then use this to control the location of it and then we can also hit resize and change the size of the color box if you're using color. Um, the uh, Of note this machine does not have pulse wave or continuous wave Doppler uh, which may not come as a total surprise. You can note in the upper right hand corner the uh, scanning type is cardiac. We can of course uh, I'm going to take my scanning hand, my other hand out and we can of course press on this and uh, change the type of scan quite easily as well. Uh, of note, um, let's go back to 2D here, uh, of great importance is to save images. This is wirelessly enabled just like all our machines. Uh, if you hit save once, it'll save a still. If you hold save down, it'll initiate uh, a clip for the you can see it saving there now. So a long hold of save will save a uh, clip image. When you're done your study, I want you to end the study and we're sure. And then we have a list of studies there. And what will happen automatically is this study will then get sent to uh, QPath uh, for wireless archiving. And you can see already there's some archive stuff here. Uh, and these are in the process of being sent over currently. So this machine will work largely like all our other machines uh, in terms of the wireless workflow and QPath and reporting and whatnot. Uh, it's just that uh, we need to pay special attention to storage uh, in a safe location and uh, a slightly different uh, machine operation using the uh, kind of ultra portable workflow. There's a bag that comes uh, with it which may prove useful uh, for ease of carrying it. Uh, it has a little pocket inside, a little sort of sleeve that fits this machine machine uh, perfectly and again uh, when it's done being used should be returned to the CCOT office and uh, can be charged through this micro USB port right here and should be permanently plugged in in the CCOT office. Any other questions you can contact me directly. Hope that's helpful.